Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're talking to Haseeb Badani from Rafa Systems. Thanks for coming along, Haseeb, and welcome to the jam. Thank you so much for having me. Really nice to talk to you today. Fantastic. So to start off, for enterprise readers who haven't worked with you before, can you tell us a little bit about your background and career and why you founded Rafa Systems? Yeah, happy to do it. Um, so I used to work at a company called Akamai before this. Akamai is a CDN company that uh, it's a large CDN company, a very successful organization. Um, and the prior startup I used to work with, it was acquired into Akamai, it became Akamai's kind of access business, enterprise access uh, offering. Um, and we spent some time there and then decided to kind of leave and do something different. Um, and, uh, you know, between working on the previous startup and, um, you know, kind of seeing a trend where enterprises, ISVs, telcos, doesn't matter who, everybody was rethinking the way their applications were deployed, rethinking the way uh, they would consume infrastructure in the cloud, and, and there was this need to go faster and faster infrastructure, application deployment, et cetera, which call for repeatability automation, secure automation, uh, so that you could do this again and again, faster and faster. Uh, and uh, it was clear to us in our previous business that it's a hard problem to solve. And then once we left, it was clear to us that it's a hard problem to solve in general. Uh, um, you know, every startup is a function of, you know, an interesting thought and then a whole lot of luck and timing. Um, and when we started working on Rafe and the intent was, hey, we're going to help people modernize their applications faster. Specifically, of course, we focus on Kubernetes operations. Um, it just so happened that something has shifted in the industry. In the last couple of years, every major enterprise has decided we're going to modernize. We're going to go faster. We want to deliver capabilities to our customers faster. We want to react to needs in the markets faster. And all of this is requiring a whole different way of thinking about cloud infrastructure applications, and Rafi finds itself at this really interesting intersection of need and purpose. Um, and I think we have an opportunity to build a, a really meaningful company in this space. Oh, fantastic. And can you explain a bit about um, Rafi's Kubernetes operations platform and explain the kind of core services it provides to your customers? Yeah, happy to. So, Kind of thematically, the problem we're solving is helping an enterprise platform organization deliver internally to their internal customers, right? They have BUs, they have internal teams who are their, their customers internally. These are, the com these are the internal teams who need to deliver applications and new capabilities to their end customers faster. And to that end, the platform team's job is to you know, simplify that process, right? So the platform teams now need to think about, okay, I have all these internal customers, they all have their own needs, they need infrastructure. Oh, but you know, I wanna make sure they all look the same. I wanna make sure there's consistency around security models. I wanna make sure there's consistency around provisioning and upgrades and deployment and policy management. And I wanna make sure I can see everything. And oh, but that one team wants to be in GCP, but that other team wants to be in AWS. I guess that's okay, but I still want to have consistency. This is a lot of work. And what we've done is we've, we've thought about the right way to deliver a platform that addresses all of these requirements over time. Um, so we sell a SaaS product, it's a multi-tenant SaaS product, it's built on zero trust principles where an enterprise uh, platform organization can sort of consume it now, it's, it's available as a service on the internet and be up and running by, by delivering these internal capabilities to their, to their customers. So our customers are usually platform teams and their internal customers are the ones who end up consuming it, but our, our customer, our, the, the people who pay for this, are platform teams. And this is a trend now. I think what's happening in the industry is every enterprise, as they start modernizing, everybody starts with like a pocket of, 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 of engineers who start working on a new project and they'll write their software and then they'll automate the infrastructure. And then another team pops up and they do the same thing. And then the third team pops up. And then the CIO organization says, well, we got to figure this out, right? So let's, Let's go build a central team who does all of this. Uh, this trend, the central authority, essentially, like a platform organization, this is happening across the board, be it financial services, healthcare, manufacturing, telco, this is happening everywhere. And it's a perfect time to be working on a company like this 
selling to the kinds of people we sell to. Mm, definitely a big, uh, big growth market. Um, on that kind of note, can you tell us what you've been up to recently in terms of things like new partnerships, uh, innovations, and product announcements? Yeah. So uh, uh, some months ago now, I don't know, three or four months ago, something like that, we, we raised a Series B. Uh, so it's a $25 million round of funding. It's very nice. You know, money in the bank. And, uh, you know, these B rounds, you know, the, the intent is, the intent of money is not to raise money, right? The intent of money is that I need it to get to the next level in the company. And it was clear to us a few months ago that, okay, we, this, product, this product seems to solve a real problem, which means we have to scale this organization. So we have to scale organizations organically. We have to scale organizations inorganically. Organic means more people, right? Just bring people in. Uh, and uh, potentially an organic growth could be uh, finding the right partnerships uh, that, that make material difference. So, so one of the key partnerships that we've invested in is our partnership with Amazon, AWS. Um, we were already uh, for quite a while now a, a, a partner to AWS in the context of Amazon's Kubernetes offering. So Amazon provides a Kubernetes offering called EKS. A lot of people use it. And at present, Rafe has hands down the most elegant integration uh, in the market with EKS. If you're an EKS customer, Rafe is the best product for you. But then Amazon now also has extended EKS into the data center. So they have something called EKS Anywhere, uh, which is something we can deploy in a data center. Um, because you know, there's data centers even now, right? I mean, not everything is in the cloud. Uh, so Rafe, uh, recently the, there was an announcement where Rafe is part of the EKSA um, kind of announcement and we are, um, you know, we have extended a platform so that we can now support EKSA, which means enterprise customers who have footprint on premises, but at the same time, they want to be in Amazon, they can use the same Rafe platform and manage all of their applications regardless of where they happen to be. That, you know, simplifies a whole lot of ongoing operational costs because, well, I don't need two platforms. I will have one and it will span my cloud footprint as well as my, as my data footprint. So that's been uh, an important uh, uh, kind of amount of work we've done, and that's kind of you know paying paying dividends. And the, the the third thing that happened very recently, um, Amazon has a platform called Wavelength, which is their um, uh, public max of five G deployment engine. So it's a it's a technology that you, they deploy with telcos, and now developers can deploy applications into the telco network, which is a powerful. Uh, 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 kind of capability, but uh, consuming Wavelength as a developer, it, it takes certain steps. And one of the uh, investments we made recently, and we did this at partnership with Amazon, was we extended our platform so that uh, our customers can now deploy applications into Wavelength. So there's a, there's a recording about this on YouTube, uh, talking about how we do this, and we kind of made a press release about this also. Uh, but now Amazon customers, be it in the cloud, be it in the data center, telco edge. Yeah. It works everywhere. And yeah. really, this is the future, right? You know, a lot of people out there, I'm sure you read this, they talk about will the edge in the cloud? Is their data center dead? Right? These kinds of you know, these silly notions of, you know, no, no, no. They all have their places. And depending on the need, depending on the application, depending on the microservice different things will end up running in different places. The question is not whether one will beat the other or win the market. The question is, how am I going to help an enterprise which is running at scale across multiple geographies manage their applications, right? And that's the right question to ask. And Rafi provides a great answer, which is no problem. You wanna be wherever you wanna be, it's all good. Now, of course, it goes without saying that the same platform you can use with Azure, same platform you can use with GCP. It just so happens that in the last two or three months, we've made a number of you know advancements in the platform focused on AWS. You know, it seems like there's definitely a lot ahead and, and fantastic work you guys are doing. So if you, people wanted to get in touch with you guys, how would be the best way to go about that? Yep. So the website is rafay.co, R-A-F-A-Y.co. Uh, we're on the internet, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter. Uh, there's a whole lot of engagement happening with developers customers as well as developers on, on Twitter, please find us. Uh, if you're an enterprise looking to speed up your modernization efforts, Rafa can help. Well, fantastic. Thanks so much for talking with us. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing um, the next step in the Rafa chapter. We really appreciate your time today. Nice talking to you.